Okay, so I had a dream this morning where I, I was with a large group of people and we were walking down the street at night and we were looking up towards the stars, okay? And then out of one of my eyes, okay, so out of this eye, I could see what the sky looked like regularly. And then out of the other eye, okay, at the same time, I could see these extra moons, and extra stars and these planets in the sky and i'm like oh wow that is so cool and then i hear a whole bunch of other people saying can you see that are you seeing these extra moons and then i'm like oh my god you can see it too okay because listen we have eyes to see we have spiritual eyes we can see what they cannot see right so then out of nowhere these light beams come out from the sky over the people that can see the extra moons and the stars and the planets and then we are sucked up into the sky and i looked over to my right and i don't remember what this person looked like but you know we were so happy we were so excited and we didn't even have to speak to each other but you know we we had some non-verbal communication there and we were telling each other yes the lord has come to get us okay because he is coming to get his people all right his chosen ones so let's go back to the beginning okay what happened at first to genesis 4 to 12 when they grew up abel became a shepherd while Cain cultivated the ground, okay? So they were both working in the fields, okay? One was a shepherd, the other cultivated the ground, okay? When it was time for the harvest, Cain presented some of his crops as a gift to the Lord. So just some of his crops. Abel also brought a gift, the best portions of the firstborn lambs from his flock, okay? He gave him his all. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift, but he did not accept Cain and his gift. This made Cain very angry, and he looked dejected. See, you know, they're angry and they're jealous, okay? They're full of envy because these spirits feel that way. So now they feel that way. Because these spirits, they don't have a second chance. And they know that we do. Why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. you but you must subdue it and be its master. Okay, so we are to subdue the sin and not let it master us. We are not to be a slave to sin. We are going to mess up, but we are not a slave to it. And they are in control under sin, okay? One day, Cain suggested to his brother, let's go out into the fields, okay? And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Afterward, the Lord asked Cain, where is your brother? Where is Abel? Okay, now the Lord knows everything. He did not have to ask him this question. Just like in the garden, when he was asking Adam all them questions, the Lord already knew the answer to all his questions. He was giving him a chance to confess his sins and repent. But, you know, he lied and said, I don't know. Cain responded, am I my brother's guardian? But the Lord said, what have you done? See, you already knew what happened. Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Okay, and we were made from the ground. And, you know, our blood is crying out to the Lord. He hears our cries. Okay, he's always listening. Now you are cursed and banished from the ground which has swallowed your brother's blood. No longer will the ground yield good crops for you no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Genesis 3, 17 through 19. And to the man, he said, since you listened to your wife and ate from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat, the ground is cursed because of you. All your life, 
you will struggle to scratch a living from it. It will grow thorns and thistles for you, though you will eat of its grains. Okay, a lot of sorrow, a lot of mourning, a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth. By the sweat of your brow, you will have food to eat until you return. You will have food to eat until you return to the ground from which you were made. For you were made from the dust and to the dust you will return. Okay, now this is where God's about to switch it up, okay? See, what they did to you at first is going to happen to them last, okay? The roles are about to be reversed okay now this is how it's gonna go matthew 24 40 through 51 two men will be working together in the field okay so both working in the field one will be taken the other left two women will be grinding flour at the mill so they're both working but one will be taken and the other left okay so the ones that are working for this world, they're going to be left behind. And the ones that are working for the t kingdom, they're going to be taken to do more work for the Lord. Because God can now trust them, okay? That's, that's us right here, okay? So, you also must be ready all the time. For the Son of Man will come when least expected. A faithful, sensible servant is one to whom the master can give the responsibility of managing his other household servants and feeding them the word of God. If the master returns and finds that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. I tell you the truth, the master will put that servant in charge of all he owns but what if the servant is evil and thinks my master won't come back for a while and he begins beating the other servants partying and getting drunk the master master will return unannounced and unexpected and he will cut the servant to pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth okay thorns and thistles they're going to be working all right by the sweat of their brow all right so psalms 19 4 through 11 okay god led me to this scripture because after that dream okay i went back to sleep and then had another dream where i okay so i used to play soccer and i was really good okay so in the dream i was super excited because i was like oh my god i'm gonna play soccer again so i was putting on my soccer gear on and you know it was taking a while for, for me to put on this gear for some reason okay but i was so excited i was eager I was so eager to play this game and then my alarm went off so I didn't even get to see how I did in the game okay so this is okay listen this scripture was hidden okay yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world God has made a home in the heavens for the sun it bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding that reminded me of the first dream when I was seeing all this stuff in the sky and then the Lord sucked us up in there then it, um, it says it rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living reverence for the lord is pure lasting forever the laws of the lord are true each one is fair they are more desirable than gold even the finest gold they are sweeter than honey even honey dripping from the cone they are a warning to your servant a great reward for those who obey them okay so revelations 22 12 look i am coming soon bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds i am the alpha and the omega the first and the last the beginning and the end see they try to take you down okay like cain did with abel and because they try to take you down god is about to take you up okay high up into the sky and see what they did 
to you at first is going to happen to them last because he is the first and the last he is the alpha and the omega okay it was not your end it was only your beginning because he is the beginning and the end he is the alpha and the omega okay God is going to take you up because they try to take you down and because they try to take themselves up on their own and you can do nothing alone. OK, you have to do all things with God. He's about to show them who the real God is and take them down. So they try to, you know, take themselves up and be their own God. Everything's about to switch. OK, the roles have reversed because he is everything. OK. He's the south and the north, the east and the west. He is everything, the alpha and the omega. The roles have reversed. God is coming to get us and we are going to be sitting next to Jesus. Okay? We are going to reap uh, a great reward for being faithful to the Lord our God and not for the rewards but because of who God is okay praise his holy name thank you Jesus I love you Jesus song of the day down below